Broncos, and welcome to our first episode of Bronco TV. I'm Taylor. Hey, have you seen Max? I'm right here. Oh, okay. So Taylor, that first assembly was pretty hot, right? Yeah, I know. I was sweating the entire time. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. Welcome back, Broncos. The new school year started out with a bang, and many exciting things have already happened. One of the many changes this year included the welcome back assembly. By holding it in the stadium, all of our Broncos were able to unite. We started off the year with the annual black light dance. It was one of our best, and those who attended had a great night. Some of your fellow Broncos have devoted their time as peer counselors to help students on campus. Peer counseling, it's basically just a group of 81 students, and we provide free tutoring in the Bronco Center for any subjects that you need. So basically, we just do whatever we can to help out around campus. I hope that we can just really come together, provide a lot of help, and be a good support system for all the staff and students and everyone. With all the new and exciting things happening on our campus, Mr. LeMaster hopes it will be a great year. I'm very excited for this school year on, for a number of different reasons. One, just because it's, a, it's a, an exciting time to be a Bronco. We have a lot of things going on on campus that are, that are new and exciting this year. So uh, I'm excited for the class of 2017. Uh, it was awesome to meet the class of 2020. And uh, we're just uh, here ready to go and, and make it a great year. Hey Broncos, it's Katie with your ASB update. Homecoming is coming up pretty soon, so you know what that means, Spirit Week. Monday is Mad Hatter Monday, so wear your craziest hats. Tuesday is Tweedledee and Tweedledum, so what that means twin day, so match with your twin. Wednesday is Waking Up in Wonderland, so put on your favorite onesies and PJs for that late start. Thursday is Battle of the Classes, so underclassmen wear red and upperclassmen wear white. And Friday is Royal Blue Friday, so come out decked in Bronco Blue and make sure you go to the RB football game to support your Broncos as they battle it out against Ramona High for their homecoming game. Ticket sales start September 6th, starting at $24, and it will go up to $30, so buy your tickets early on. Tickets will not be sold at the door. And now introducing your 2016 homecoming court. Thanks for watching, Broncos. This is Katie with your ASB update. Hey Taylor, are you gonna be at the football games this season? Uh, yeah, but I'm also gonna be supporting the other fall sports this season. Well, let's take a look at our Bronco athletes. As summer's cooling down, fall sports are heating up. Our athletes are ready to push to new boundaries this season. Kicking off the fall season, football is off to a strong start with a 38 to zero win against Eastlake. With a good end to last year and two wins already under their belt, our girls golf team is looking towards another successful season. Girls volleyball is also setting high goals this season. They're prepared to spike their way to CIFs. Girls tennis is already making a racket on the court and swinging into action with a 15-3 win against Scripps Ranch. Field hockey is burning up the field as they fight their way to CIFs. Cross Country is running their way to victory with a strong start from both the boys and girls team. And finally, the boys varsity water polo team is starting the season strong with four wins already. Losing only one starter, they are looking to reach new heights. The Ranch Bernard water polo team does return uh, quite a few starters from last year in a, in a nice crop of, um, of club players who've worked really hard throughout the season. We are planning on uh, competing for the league title and then uh, continuing on into CIF and uh, and hope to be playing in the championship game there as well. Wait, when the ball's in Sammy's hands there, why aren't you working your butt off? You throw the ball back into the six on five. Stop the ball! Stop the ball! The energy is really high this year because we have really high hopes for the season. If we win league this year, it's going to be the second time our team has won league. And if we win CIS, it's going to be the first time the boys water polo team has won CIS. Keep watching our Broncos as they take on new challenges this upcoming season. So Taylor, how do you like the new 4x4 schedule this year? Oh, I love it. You wouldn't believe how much sleep I'm getting because of this fourth period off roll. Same. Hey Broncos, it's Sabrina. I hope everyone's having a great start to their new year. Let's see how everyone's adjusting. From new students to new schedules, a lot of changes have been happening at RB. 
Let's see what our students and staff have to say about the 4x4. The pros and cons for the students are being able to have more classes, also have an off-roll even when they're not seniors. The cons are the schedule is limited in, because there's only four periods and when we can put things and, and movement is more difficult in changing schedules. Um, we've had to add at least five new classes since school started to lower class sizes. That's a result of having enrolled 117 new students, so we, our enrollment is up. And so we do have to balance those classes and move kids around. Um, that people will learn to adjust and that, you know, we can only do so much with four periods in a day. Well, I can take two more classes every year, and because of that, I can take three more classes overall at high school, so I think that's really cool. Also, the off rolls can give you more time to do APs. I feel like it benefits more than not because, yeah, you have more classes, but you also have twice as much time to do the classes. Well, personally, I get an off roll, which is really nice because I like sleeping. Uh, at the same time, it also allows me to take more classes, which allows me to increase my learning. I like the 4x4. I think it's going to be good for kids in the long run. Only having three classes as opposed to five has been really nice because you get a chance to know your kids a little bit better. Um, that's probably been the best part about it. It's been a challenge so far this year, for sure. Trying to learn after 23 years of doing it one way, trying to learn how to teach it a different way has been a little bit of a challenge. Hey Taylor, what are you worried about this year? I'm just worried about getting a major case of senioritis. Oh, I'm already feeling it. Let's see what our other Broncos are worried about this year. Going back to school this year has created many challenges, even for returning students. With new teachers, new students, and a new schedule, the 2016-2017 school year is sure to be an exciting one. So please tell us what you're most worried about this year. Um, failing everything. The 4x4 schedule, I love it, but it makes all the work really crammed together, so it's kind of stressful. I guess one of the concerns I would have is that if there's someone out there who doesn't feel like they're connected or they're not being supported, uh, they're struggling in their classes and I don't know about it, uh, they need to reach out and get some help. Come talk to me, talk to a, an administrator, counselor, or even a teacher. So that would be one of my concerns. Um, I just want our sports teams to do good. I'm worried about keeping my scholarship and staying on track for college. Women are big here, not strange. All right. Depression. So please tell us what you're excited about this year and why. Um, I'm excited to make new friends and um, do better in school and improve. I'll be your friend. Okay, that's great. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. It's going to be awesome. I am excited to try to go to every single football game that I can go to because I can drive this time and I couldn't drive last year. Hang out with my friends, watching movies, playing sports. You know, all that stuff. So nothing school related? Nothing school related. I like how I only have four classes this year. Alright, so you go home early? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm quite excited for the uh, excitement of uh, school. He's excited for the excitement of being excited. Thank you. Indeed. Wow, I can't believe our first episode of Bronco TV is over. Yeah, I know, right? So, Max, what's with the Bronco suit? Well, you know, I'm a student by day, Bronco by night. But it's still daytime outside. Darn it! Well, Broncos, thanks for joining us on this episode of Bronco TV. Make sure to check us out on YouTube and, and subscribe! subscribe.